Hi YouTube, it's been a long time and I wanted to do a review of the La Roche-Posay's Anti-Brilliance, Anti-Shine and Thilios Excel SPF 60 UVB and UVA protection. So this is what it looks like. Um, I purchased this from Shoppers Drug Mart and it was not cheap. On sale, I got it for, I believe, $24 and you only get 50 mils of this. So this by no means is a cheap sunscreen, but I was inclined to purchasing it for a few reasons. First, it's a fully chemical sunscreen. Uh, I'm not opposed to chemical sunscreens. I do have sensitive skin, but I do want to wear a sunscreen that doesn't make me look extremely oily and it doesn't make me look like I have a white cast because I I want to feel comfortable in my skin. So the active ingredients for the sunscreen are homosalate, octocrylene, octosylate, ibobenzene, dermatizinol trisaloxane, that's the Mexeril XL, the one that is protected by L'Oreal so that they, they, they're the only ones who are allowed to use this um, UVA filter. And I, to be very honest, I've really enjoyed this. It's nearly gone because, you know, you only get 50 mils and I have been using it every day. I think this is a great sunscreen for people who have naturally oily skin. I don't have naturally oily skin. I, I, I hover more on the dry, sensitive skin uh, side, so this started peeling up very quickly on me. However, I was also testing out um, the, the CC Milano uh, vitamin C essence and I started pairing this with this. So every morning I would put this on and you get quite a bit in here. It looks like I've gone through a lot and I have gone through a fair amount. And I put this on in the morning and I use a lot of it and I pat that in and then I go on top of this it does not pill at all it stays on for a very long time I want to say five hours I mean you're supposed to according to dermatologists reapply your sunscreen every two hours but I think it can be very impractical to reapply sunscreen every two hours especially if you're if your work is uh, more on the busy side or even when you're in school you know it's it's hard to be uh, that consistent uh, but it's definitely possible uh, with this and this it goes on extremely well I have no white cast and I kind of want to do a really quick demo so I'm gonna put I have sunscreen on right now uh, but it doesn't hurt to put a little bit more so I put a little bit on and I don't know if it's visible and I think the vitamin C definitely helps with um, the longevity of the sunscreen because it also fights with uh, free radicals that protects our skin and collagen inside our skin from degrading so I like that so as you can see I really have no white cast and um, I have nothing bad to say about this I would not use this if I were not to use it with something that was more of an oily serum on top just because this does aim to get people with oily skin because it's anti-shine I wouldn't particularly say that this gives you a matte finish if you're looking for a sunscreen with a matte finish this unfortunately is really not the best at giving matte finish but I do think that it's not as greasy as the Hada uh, sorry not the Hada Labo the Elta MD UV sunscreen that one's really oily and greasy but it it's a great sunscreen as well so this is a better bet for people who want to minimize the shine but it doesn't take it all away so you must have a realistic expectation when you're trying this now this was $24-$25 at Shoppers Drug Mart 
but I love sunscreen so I'm always like at shoppers looking at sunscreens and I I discovered that the Vichy anti brilliance sunscreen has the exact same ingredients so not just the the chemical filters for sun protection but also the other ingredients in the sunscreen they are the exact same word for word so this was twenty two dollars it's the same exact like it's a different packaging same exact tube like they're the same this was twenty two dollars uh, Vichy is also owned by L'Oreal so um, yeah, it's just a different branding. It's two bucks cheaper. So if you find this and it's on sale, go for this one. Instead of this, it's two bucks cheaper. Uh, apart from that, there's another sunscreen that I'm trying to test out to see if it's a dupe because uh, I got it in a 200 ml tube. And so cost wise, it, it's much cheaper. But the ingredients, although they're very, very similar, they are slightly. Uh, in a different order on the sun, uh, on the ingredient list and I don't know how much of a difference it makes and uh, it's by Garnier and I'm gonna try it out for a few, few uh, weeks to maybe a couple months and let you know I just got it yesterday and uh, Garnier is also owned by L'Oreal so I'm definitely gonna try that uh, another thing I want to talk about is um, this sunscreen goes really well with the Hada Labo sunscreen, so if you want to uh, throw this on first, then a little bit of this, the Hada Labo SPF 50 white gel, and uh, then with this, I mean, you have a really solid skin protection uh, for, I want to say, at least four to five hours, and then you can go on with either this sunscreen or you know any other ones but I think that uh, if you're looking for a sunscreen that lasts you for a longer time so you're reapplying it you know at, at, at a much more practical sense uh, I would definitely suggest getting this um, both these both these guys because they're the same are fragrance free they have not caused any irritation even though I am sensitive to Ava benzene at least that's what I thought you know I, I don't know for sure but the Neutrogena Helioplex sunscreens irritate my skin so much. It, I, I, have, I feel like scratching my eyes out. <laughs> so um, I, I, I'm really happy that I can still use Ava Benzene. And it's not as stable um, as, any, uh, as the other UVA filters. And UVA actually protects us from like skin damage, like you know, uh, hyperpigmentation, wrinkles and such. So uh, I was really inclined to getting to putting down more money to get better UVA filters. Um, this unfortunately is not available in the states because um, I don't believe Mexeril is uh, approved in the U.S. Uh, Mexeril is also um, a UVA filter that helps stabilize avobenzene and kind of gives you a more wide range of protection from the UVA rays. And uh, that's really it for me. I really enjoy it, and um, I hope that you get give this a shot. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And that's all for today. Have a good one. Bye.